Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the brake cable on your lawnmower, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Note the position of the traction control cable, then remove the nut and washer and slide the brake cable support off of the bolt. Unhook the Z end of the traction cable from the control bail arm and detach the cable from the support. Now release the Z end of the brake cable from the brake bail arm. Depress the tabs to release the old brake cable from the bracket and detach the opposite Z end from the brake lever. You can now remove the old brake cable. Install the new brake cable by first sliding it through the cable guide. Insert the Z end into the brake lever and snap the cable into the bracket. Insert the opposite Z end into the brake bail arm. Insert the traction cable in the brake cable support. And attach the Z end to the control bail arm. Slide the support onto the bolt. Replace the washer. Then thread on the nut. Correctly position the traction control cable and tighten the nut to secure. You're now ready to reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug and confirm that the lawnmower is working properly.